Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video is going to be a 5am island tour on Animal Crossing. My voice is still not healed from being sick so I'm gonna try to not talk as much. But my island is Swamp slash Fairy Core. It's super whimsical and magical and ethereal especially at 5am. I'm gonna show you guys my map before we start the tour and this is my island this is how it looks a lot of water because it is swampy very swampy but also very magical and my island's name is Hime it's not pronounced time it's Hime I was originally supposed to do a like city life city core type of island but I ended up doing swamp core slash very core so my villagers are Marty, Jeremiah my baby, Etoile, Lily, Grizzly who's also a favorite, he's like Papa Bear of the Island, Ione, Sherb, Cookie, Kiki, and Marshall. So this is my entrance, this is where I do all my trading for Nukazan, and it's pretty small and close to the plaza, but I still really love this area. To the left of my airport, there's the campsite, and it's on this little part on the beach. Coming up this ramp, you see my Beware of Fairy sign. These little doll houses are supposed to be like their homes and they're scattered all throughout my island. So the view from up here is the marshlands. This is like the swampy vibes coming in and it's just so beautiful and peaceful and I just, I love this view so much. We're passing by two gnomes having an argument or maybe like a conversation about what they're eating what they want to eat <laughs> we come down this ramp and here we are in the marshlands it's guarded by a little gnome and in the middle of all these ponds i put like statues and it just feels really like ethereal and just like a magical little little area For Grizzly's house, I kept it really simple. I feel like he would want it simple. I put a whole bunch of black flowers because they look brown. And I just think it's like really fitting for him. I also put that pumpkin tower right there because he is a grumpy and I just thought it looked really cute.
right in front of Cookie's house on the beach, this is my strawberry field. It's super cute. I put little strawberry custom designs all over the sand. It's really red and pink and full of like little desserts and just like really cute and whimsical. So this part that we're coming to on the beach was inspired by this gazebo because of how like overgrown it is. So this little area I just made super overgrown, filled with green plants and it just feels like it's been abandoned and nature has just taken over the beach. And I tried to make it look like more swampy overgrown than like foresty. So we're coming up to Ione's house and she's super blue and like celestial. Her little tail is like a little galaxy with the stars so I tried to keep her house blue and the outside of her house very blue and just like stars and little crescent moon chair. There's butterfly models and it's just like really really fitting for her in my opinion especially with like the little plushies. And like the view above her house is just like really pretty too. So I'm showing you guys that with the giant vine and like the bubbles. I just, I really love her little area. And here we have Marshall's little cafe. So Marshall's house is right in front of Ione's. And I just kept it really like neutral because Marshall is white <laughs> and his house is just like really like elegant looking. So he has his little cafe with his coffee and cookies and pies and tea. He literally has anything you want. And then hopping over, and crossing this bridge brings you to the plaza so there's like multiple ways to get around my island and his house is the back of the plaza and the back of the marshlands and then here's the bridge bringing you to the entrance and yeah this is like this is my little plaza area So for the beach in front of my shops, I wanted it to feel like lost treasure. So Able Sisters, there's like a little picnic, which is like random sewing machines and seamstress items. And then coming over to Next Cranny, there's a random Christmas tree with presents and toys, a little gnome, um, a piano. 
There's a little area where you could put on a swimsuit and go swimming. It's just like really random and I wanted to feel like lost treasure like from Tinkerbell. Like how random items just like wash up on the beach. So Lily's house is tucked behind the museum. I wasn't sure where to put her house and I ended up putting it here. It's kind of, it's very small actually, not even kind of, but I gave her like a little greenhouse planting area and I think it's cute for her. Like she, she doesn't need much space. She doesn't. And here we have my zodiac beach. It's basically a lot of zodiac furniture, star fragments, a crescent moon chair, a statue in the middle, gold roses. It's like really, really ethereal and beautiful. I also think it's really fitting because it's right behind the museum and I feel like it just all really flows nicely together.
So this is where I keep my crabs, guys. Literally, my island was 95% done, and then 2.0 update came out, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to find somewhere to put my crabs, because over here, was uh, I was already building something different, so I literally tore it all down and came up with this, and it's a little, it's not like cohesive, but I really love the way that it came out. So like my rock garden is on this side, and then there's some more crops and there's a little greenhouse in the back and I just love how pretty it is with all the crops and the flowers and just all the all the plants <laughs> I just I love coming up here to get what I need when it comes to cooking and I just I really love the way that my farmland came out I just love this island I've done three and this is by far my favorite So coming down this ramp, there's like, this is like the beginning of like my farmland. So there's two ways to get up there, but this is like the beginning of it. So here's my little tomato crop that couldn't put up there. So I put it in the middle of this little island and there's like a giant vine, a little casing for flowers. And there's not much down here, but I still want it to like flow as you go up the ramp. This is my fairy forest, so this is basically where all the fairies live. Like, this is their main place of living. It's like how Tinkerbell and, like, all the fairies live in that tree. This is, like, where all the fairies live here. And it also leads you to the secret beach where I have, like, little fairy cutouts. There's two little gnomes guarding the entrance to the secret beach, and... I just wanted this area to look like there's really fairies living here so I tried to make it look as magical as I could with butterfly models, mush items, um, the star clocks and the nova lights and then on that rock I just put some shell items because I just wanted to fill it up with something. So coming up this ramp, we're coming to another forest, and this forest is more on the swamp side. And in this little corner, I have 
like a little camping area where you can sit by the fire, drink some tea. There's a little gyroid, a tent, and a balloon just started floating across while she was sleeping. And I just thought that was so cute. In the corner over here, I have a little outdoor bakery, and I really wanted to put a kitchen outside so I didn't always have to go in my house and cook, and this is what I came up with, and I just think it's really cute and tiny. There's a little rare open diner sign, there's tea, there's cakes, cookies, the little bread basket. It's just a really, it's really cute. <laughs> So my house is actually down the ramp right there, but we're gonna go across the bridge to Marty's house. And his yard is pretty big because I had to put the potato crops over here because there's no room by the rest of the crops over by the farmland. So yeah, he runs the potato crops and he also has a little honey farm that we're gonna get to soon and it's just so cute we have little soot sprites helping him make the honey they're carrying in the honeycomb and i just i really love marty's yard i think it's so fitting for him So this is the witch's beach. I wanted to put like a little witchy, spooky area on my island because there is magic here. And this is where this is where she lives in that castle in the back. There's like a broken gyroid. There's a fortune telling set. There's her pot, her witch's brew. So this is my house. I wanted it to feel really secluded and sunken. It's a pretty small area, but I still really love, 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 love it. It's so cozy. You can get here through the swamp forest or through the witch's beach and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll definitely do some more of these type of videos in the future.